Three days after leaving Pitcairn, seabirds signal that we get close to Gambier. It rains heavily when we finally drop the anchor, but we still enjoy having arrived. For the first time in months, the boat is not rolling anymore. When the sun returns and we go hiking with Cindy and Willy, we can see why the anchorage is so calm. A coral reef that surrounds almost the entire archipelago protects us from the ocean swell. Eager to explore Gambia's islands, we sail within the lagoon to a picture-perfect anchorage. Underwater, we find an abundance of healthy coral and colorful fish of all sizes and shapes. On the island of Taravai, we enjoy the hospitality of Erve, Valerie and their sons Alan and Ariki. After they teach us how to grate coconuts, we help them prepare for the weekly barbecue at their house. But everything changes on March 21st. The last tourists leave for the airport and the local gendarmes visit all sailboats to explain that the country is in lockdown to contain the spread of the coronavirus. We use the time to do boat maintenance. The lockdown makes us think about ways to make societies more resilient to shocks like the current pandemic. Some solutions we have documented spring to mind. Sharing to save resources and enhance social contacts. Regionally produced organic food straight from the farm. Locally produced energy by and for the community. Localizing the economy, energy and food supply. Fairly produced local, artisanal and diverse food. A currency that stimulates a local and circular economy. Building with local recycled materials. Growing organic fruit and vegetables for the neighborhood. Solutions like these strengthen local communities and make societies more ecologically healthy and socially just. Although we feel somewhat stuck in paradise, we are hopeful that together we can emerge stronger from this crisis. Did you like this video? And want to see more? Subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on social media, become our patron on Patreon, or subscribe to our email newsletter on our website.